I mean, it's a real pl pleasure having you at the Dot Innovation Summit and having a swimming champion actually uh, here. I'm really looking Thank forward you. to your presentation because I know it will be quite inspirational. But before we dive into the uh, questions related to, to, to your presentation, maybe you can give me a bit more information about your background and your experience. Okay, thank you. So first, let's start with presenting myself. Yes. My name is Nina Bustromagicianovic. I work as a development manager at FAS Front Arena. I develop high-performance uh, financial systems for electronic trading. And uh, I'm very focused on the technical part of yes. software development, so I'm deep standing on the technical part. And also, one of my big interests is agile software development. Yes. So it's shortly about me and my interests. So you actually managed to uh, connect a life experience with uh, the area where you work in and you're talking in your presentation about uh, the Blue Ocean uh, strategy and your mm -hmm. actual experience, your personal story related to the strategy. So if you could uh, share a bit more insight on that. Yes, of course. So uh, Blue Ocean strategy is a business strategy. It's a part of a business model, innovations, one of the model, and it's becoming very popular. And uh, to describe it shortly, uh, you have generally two types of strategies for many companies or organizations that are entering the market. One is Red Ocean, meaning that you are compete, competing against all other companies with the same type of products, with the same uh, services that you offer. And uh, in order to conquer the market, you have to beat your competition. And usually it's very tough and costs a lot of money. Another approach is Blue Ocean Strategy. Instead of uh, competing with the other competitors, you create your own market space, yeah. some niche on the market, so you analyze the market, see the needs on the market, what is the sweet spot, and see no one is offering it. And then I can create products or services for that. In that way, you don't have to compete with other people, yeah. and uh, it's also you don't have to be the best. So your products don't have to be the perfect ones, it's enough that they're good enough. Yeah. So there are two approaches, and uh, when I learned about them, uh, it's not only in the business, I realized that it's um, much more general. It can be applicable in many life situations. So uh, I tried to be innovative and uh, connect two different things and combine them in a new way. So I applied the Blue Ocean strategy on my swimming competitions. Yeah. So I'm a master swimmer, competing now in my mature age. And uh, I managed, I achieved to get gold medals on the Swedish National Championship in Master Swimming, but only thanks to the Blue Ocean Strategy. I mean, your achievements are really impressive, both uh, in your swimming career and then in your IT, so it's quite an inspirational um, thing. But uh, you were talking about creating this new market, actually, finding the sweet spot on the market. So, so how do we approach when analyzing to, to really pinpoint that uh, sweet spot? Yes. Uh, Blue Ocean Strategy recommends some tools and models yeah. how you can find uh, those niche on the market. Yeah. So you analyze the market, maybe find a sweet spot, but then you have to analyze uh, yourself, your company, and to see how you, what you can offer to that market. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about something that is called the um, Four Actions Framework. So first you create strategy cameras for all your competitors and see what uh, they have for their value curves, in which competing factors they invest in. And then you are going through each factor and see, am I going to eliminate this factor or raise or reduce? And you see so that you get some another strategy value curve that diverge from all other value curves. And in that way, you create your blue ocean. So because if your strategy value curve convert, converts in the same way as all other competitors' value curves, you're going to end up in a red ocean. You're going to compete around the same competing factors. Yeah. So uh, the idea is to have a completely uh, value curve that is defined in completely another way. Mm -hmm. And you manage to get it by applying those four actions framework to see what you should invest where or not or reduce or eliminate from your strategy. So this blue, blue ocean strategy actually opens up quite a lot of opportunities, but what is the main challenge where, when businesses try to apply it? Where do they struggle the most? 
Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I, I think that uh, one thing is um, maybe it's easy to, not easy, but uh, simple to find those places that are unconquered market. But uh, you have to be also sure that it's something needed on the market, yeah. that you don't just create products that no one needs. Maybe no one is producing them, but nobody needs them also. Yeah. So I think that's a nice balance that uh, although you are creating a new market space, that you are uh, sure I'm going to get the customers for that yeah. market yeah. space, not just to create. And, uh, uh, and they express that, that you link your innovation value curve to the value so that your strategy creates some value. It is not just a nice strategy, theoretically, but yeah. it does not create value. So it's quite an innovative and creative approach. I mean, you really have to be set in the in the right mindset, I guess. Yes, exactly. And uh, they're talking uh, about that uh, if we want to create blue oceans, we have to make that shift in our mindset from competing to creating. because. It's so typical mindset, many organizations and companies are thinking, I have always been uh, developing that type of products or entering these markets, and they're not thinking that maybe there is other way to do. Yeah. So it's that mindset that make a shift instead of competing with the competitors to create uncontested market. I, I really like this approach. I mean, I think we can really, we can level up if we yes. start it's like that. It's very general, it's very so. general. Thank you for actually opening up this discussion and putting the, the spotlight on this uh, approach. It's been a real pleasure talking to you today. Good luck later with the presentation and hopefully you enjoy the rest of the event. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Excellent you. questions. <laughs>